Good afternoon. Today is the 25th of August. It's very windy. And this is part five of Cyclist Shambolic Shuffle around the 2024 Nebworth Classic Motor Show. I do apologize in advance for this terrible wind noise, for the music and announcements. I'm afraid there's not a lot I can do about it for you. I'm just going to have to bear with me. And it's far more annoying for me than it is for you, I can assure you. So we, we are on the Luton and Dunstable MG Owners Club stand, 6869 MGB, in a very nice shade of British racing green. And someone has very tastefully put in a biscuit leather interior. Very nice. It's got this lovely old-fashioned steering wheel and wire wheels and all sorts of things. So, you know, life is uh, life is good. At the start of part five. Much older MG here, probably from uh, the sort of 20s or 30s. What exactly this model is, I, I don't know. The sort of thing that um, I have to look at the information sheets for. Unfortunately, somebody has provided me with one, which we'll look at at this side here. There we go, 1935 MGPB P type midget. There is the um, engine, they lost the Kami MGs, as it's described in the information sheet there. Fishmouth grill. MGB 1971-72 on a K. Fishmouth grill wasn't used for very long actually. Um, this would be one of the later ones that had that. And then 72-73. Um, um, Do you know five or six like that? There we go. You learn something new every day. I can see that's actually the later grill on this um, one here. I can't remember the name of that colour now. Then um, beautiful, beautiful. MG here. Very nice handsome lines on this. What sort of year is this? Again, I have to review the nation sheet aren't I? Because I'm just running around here in total ignorance. Um, which, um, yeah, there we go. 1938 MG SA Saloon. Very nice. 6768 MGB. Again, with that old steering wheel in it. Has the uh, disc wheels and all the tires, of course. Fishmouth grill again, 72, 73. It's not really much to do with this. Later steering wheel and with some different instruments. And some more vents. MGZR 160, 2002 to 3. Showing the typical kind of <laughs> the spots that these tend to rust, yeah, front front wings, rear arches, all sorts of things like that. MG ZB and obviously ZB's on the bottom of the Maybe about 1958, something like that. Right, next section and more MGs. Interesting MG TF colour there. Gold. I don't think I've seen this colour on a TF before. I've seen it on Rovers and things. What a TF though, interesting. And then two continuation cars. Both of them on 10 plates. Made from 2008 to 2011. The continuation cars with the N series engine, not the K series, the N series engine. The unfortunate thing is that at the time, you could buy, I don't know, a TF was a few years old for so much less money than one of these that they hardly sold any of them. Um, they're quite highly prized now, actually, these cars. Um, different instruments and things, you know, slight variations in interior trim and things, but uh, yeah, nice. 2003 TF in trophy blue, it's probably a 115, but the, the uh, dormer is on there. 1973 to 19. 74 MGB GT with some rose style wheels on it. 2002 MG TF and Trophy Blue. 2002 2003 MG TF in style silver, same colour as the 6. 2004 MG TF. Um, approximately MG TF 160. In a, that's what I'm about there. and then better for me, 1993-1994 MGR V8 in dark green, the beige leather interior and wood. I do like a nice beige leather interior. So more Granadas here from the Granada Nuts Club. Actually, this is the Granada Nuts Club console. 
Russell 2.5 V6 estate. It'd be a rare old thing, this. Consoles were only made till 1975, so that one I don't think is roadworthy at the moment, but it's good to see it here. They've been saved from, uh, well, scrap or something. 83-84, Mark II Granada. I wonder what the specification this actually is. It's 2.8 litre LX, wow, that's a rare one. Most of them I see with two litres, the sort of Mark II Granadas are 2.8 gears like this. With some um, Mark III Scorpio Cosworth wheels on it. It's a very common upgrade to these because it's easy to get tyres for them. They look good actually on that. 84 85 on a B. 2.9 gear axe, which will mean that someone swapped the engine over. Let's watch out for that big hole in the ground, viewers. There we go, 83 84. HHK, I wonder if that's um, Ford um, Presca originally. Type 9 5 speed manual, again, probably with the um, 2.924 valve Scorpio Cosworth engine. Preface lift Mark II, 79 to 80 on a V. Yes, it looks so correct like this with the um, driving lamps and fog lamps on it. Again, a gear, probably a 2.8, but I'm not sure. 2.3 gear, yes. I'm glad I checked because I was uh, initially wrong. 82, 83 on a Y. 2.8 injection gear saloon. The Chatsworth interior. That's got the automatic. Most of them were autos. The manuals were quite rare. Gear axe. Also a gear axe. I think these are, these are the same colour. Um, one of those are the TRX wheels or the gear wheels. They're very slightly different. Um, that's got the green Chatsworth interior. The uh, front spoilers like this said 2.8 injection. Whether or not you had a, an injection car or not, they just came like that. This one. Very late, Mark III Granada Gear Estate, 93-94, and then um, another Mark II here, 81 to uh, 82 on an X, 5 speed manual in that one, just in gear leader, I've seen one before. And then I think this is an Irish um, person. I have seen one of these before. It's actually when I went to uh, Ringwood for an All Granada meeting in 2021, they raced one of these. It was in very, very poor condition. And you can see, actually, that this looks sort of comical like this. We've kept the doors in place. Bonkers, isn't it? But uh, that's why we did the conversions in Ireland back in the day, in sort of 84. And then something very close to my heart, what was n what was, used to be called the... Uh, the owners club but it's now the Nissan Datsun owners club 79 to 80 Datsun 180B also I think it's violet um, that is a very 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 nice condition amazing then the K10 Micro GSX I think this is a first facelift car second face has occurred in 89 this is an automatic I think it's probably 1.2 if it's an automatic um, 87 88 on an E very nice um, 300C here, 86, 87, with the um, 3 litre V6 engine. And there's a car that I filmed actually last year when I was here, this one. I can't remember if it's an 85 race, I think it's an 85 this one. These are not common cars, they, they're about 15 or something on the road. So to see two of them together like this is um, amazing. Then uh, we've got another one of the 70s estate cars. This one's left hand drive. Sherwood Johnson City, that's in 510, it's called in America. And then a, a Laurel, a C30, it's right, C32 Laurel, all these are. I've done a C31, not a C32. This one, um, 87, 88, but we replaced them. This one's by the Maxima, actually. Um, Love old Nissan and Datsun, which is probably why I own one myself. 1989 N13 Sunny, I've got. Hopefully, we'll be back on the road next month. And then some Fords. Um, Mark 7 Fiesta, very good second hand cars, those actually. Um, Mark 2 Focus ST. And then some more classic ones. 
1989 to 1990 Ford Escort XR3i Cabriolet, I think this would be. 89 to 90. And then a Cosworth RS500, yes. That's more like it, viewers. We like this sort of thing. 87 only. I think 87 was the last year for those. Those are very valuable, the RS500. Uh, later Sierra Cosworth, 92, 93, and a K. Um, Sapphire Cosworth 4x4 with some modification. Interior looks very standard though. And then another Escort Cosworth, uh, the second one we've seen today actually, viewers. Must be rather like that, but rather a lot. And then, of course, the fantastic Mark VI ST, which um, is a very, very nice car driver. I'd like to try one of these actually. The only Mark VI I've ever driven have been. Well, 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 there's an A magnet as well. So you see the ZB and the ZA magnet today. Someone's very sensibly put a five speed gearbox in there. Um, I wonder if this is also got a brake servo in it now. Both of which make the cars a lot easier to live, live with and drive. Original part of the is where you are. Um, Bedford MG Owners Club, MG. Um, MG, yeah, this one will be probably a trophy one. Yeah, it is. Excellent. Then a uh, MGB. Should have a uh, should have a fish vinegar on like that. Well, I think so. Sixty-nine to seventy. Sixty-nine to seventy. Morris Mount Travel Trafalgar Blue. I have driven the uh, 1970 Morris Mount Travel Trafalgar Blue. I drove that in March. Brakes were terrifying. Um, Minor Tora. Camp Mount White was about 1960. 1966 Morris Minor Traveller. 1098 CC. 1970 Morris Minor Thousand Traveller. Armand Green. Let's look at some steering wheels here. Yes, this has the correct steering wheel for the year, introduced in October 64. Someone's actually put a Type 9 Ford gearbox in there because that makes it easy to drive. Yeah, also got correct wheel in both of these. This one is a 6768 on F. Forget the colour of what these are. Must have as many Morris Miners as possible to the Laura show, isn't it? Oh yes, FD Victor here. But someone's dropped in something rather more powerful than the original Slant 4 engine. The V8. Excellent. Victor's super, it's certainly super now, isn't it? 71, 72. Um, Plymouth Scamp, 72, 73. Gosh, it's a, a rare thing. Work there, I think, at some point. Then um, an HBV, the Deluxe 90. In 1969, when they were filming the episode of Run Hot Get Deceased at Nebworth House called Someone Just Walked Over My Grave, they actually used an HB Victor, well, sorry, Viva. It wasn't one of these, it was a later one, the face of the thrill, but there we go, it's a 67 Viva Deluxe. E39 BMW 5 Series in 1998, 1999. This is 523i. Well, obviously classics now as well. Another FD Victor. In fact, two FD Voxels here. Another Super. Still got a four-speed gearbox in it. Yep, still slant falling there. 7071. Oh yes, a VX490. Delicious cars these. Get a Vigas 490 and a Ventura at the time, so if you wanted a more powerful little Vector, there were two different ways, a four cylinder model, which is this one, and then the six cylinder model, which was the Ventura. So it's in really nice condition considering the reputation of Vox was had in the 70s and Rusty. Looks great. Again, 70 on a J. Well, 
on the 240 GLT, or GLT wheels on it. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a GLT with the interior as well. It is, yeah. Very desirable now, actually, the GLTs. 80, uh, uh, seven, sorry, 88, 89 on F. Victor FB. 1963 this one is fantastic very rare cars Rolls-Royce Silver Spirit I think um, could be a Silver Spirit I suppose I think it's Silver Spirit then uh, Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow 1970-71 on the J No head restraints, it must be quite an early one. MGB GT 6869. Sorry, MGC, I do apologise, I should look to the front of it first. MGC 6869. Uh, Fire Frost, this uh, TF is 2005. Nice colour, Fire Frost, actually. 2004. Mini Cooper R50. Yeah, not a Cooper, it is a normal Cooper. And Chrysler Crossfires. I have driven one of these actually, viewers. Uh, they're all right, I think they look all right. I'm just not particularly impressed with the way that they handle or ride. It's just a bit of a problem for me when I drive one, but to, you know, everyone's not really opinion, aren't they? 2006, that one. That one personal plate, I'm not sure. Do we have any of the SRT6 ones here, or are they just sort of standard ones? Not the greatest success, I don't think. People do like them though. Um, it's a personal plate, there's a Sam on it. Yeah, one drove was an auto, you could get a manual as well. One drove was an auto. Like this one. Then a uh, 1991 to 1992 BMW E30. Late of the shape of 3 Series. Very nice, actually, those. Very nice indeed. Let's look at some classic minis. 1985, 1986 Mini Mayfair. Heavily, heavily customised. I'm not even sure those original Mayfair seats are there anymore, but um, that, looks, that looks good, though. Mini British Open, yes. I think these are the original seats for it as well. Um, British Open, about 19. 1992, I think. And this is a uh, when he was had the, the uh, rear lights actually first of all earlier. This is a real Cooper, be a very early Mark III Cooper. This one. Then the Mini Minor Traveller, uh, Mark II, I think this would be, about 1960. Woody, you know. Woody, yeah. There's Woody. 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 Sort of 94 95. Um, Mayfair with um, the 30th anniversary seats of this. Eight of them, four into five million dressed look like a Austin Mini Cooper S. Again, these are 1990 Mini seats in there. And the rear lights from I think a Mark III, although it's much, much later than that. 1966 Mark 1 Mini Mark 3 Mini 1972 Club of different steering wheels, things like that. But that's had a round front end on it, so I don't know what's going on there. Never mind, keep going. Here's 1275 GT, I have the same front end as the Clubman. Early one actually, 70 to 70, uh, 71 this particular car. Quite desirable 1275 GTs now. Then um, we've got um, 
a mini with a mini trailer. This one is from the early 90s, it'd be uh, 90 or 1991. Same year as this one. I don't think this is actually necessarily um, cute. I'll have a look. No, it's a normal one. Very, very late pickup. One of the absolute last one. A plate. I've never seen one in an Apex before actually. Um, so BU80 can register a register truck, but it'll be, it'll be made in um, 82, right at the end. And we got some of the modern Mustang. I'm probably going to skip over the modern Mustang and go straight onto some of the older ones, like this Fox body here. Um, with the. Uh, I just think some Rapid versus the 97 Mustang GT. 2002 to 3 Mustang. Like a slightly different front end from the other one. And three of the previous generation shape. Yeah, we sort of have personal plates on the side. Yes, the Shelby GT model. I think this is a load of ogles. I think these were called the SX100. I think they're mini based. I've never seen one of these in real life. That's got a Morris badge in front of you. Ogle SX100. Uh, yeah, based on a mini, but um, with a different body. I've only ever read about them, but I've never seen one in real life. And there are seven here. Seven. Goodness gracious, they they're tiny little things. Comes up to uh, my waist. That's crazy. 61. Apparently, they're only like 66 actually ever made. There we go, this is all the nation. SX1000 was introduced in 1961. All of the mechanical coats came with the mini, but the new shell. There we go, I think they were only made for like a year or so. How so many of them actually survived and how many of them are here, I, I don't know, but I'm very grateful that they are here. I'm very grateful indeed. So we go on to the next row. Lancia Delta HF Integrale. Very nice, this is a 16 valve one. 1990 Japanese import, but they still left hand drive. Sensible offers only. Ian. 7409870606. Excellent. We uh, we like that view. We like it very much. Unfortunately, we're not going to be buying it, so I can't afford something like that. Anyway, um, Cooper Sport 2000, one of the very last original minis. We've got a Clubman or a 1275 GT here, which is from mid 70s, 74, 75. Five mini keepers here, but it's actually remarkably original. The car's last time we saw today. 1971. 1970 to 71. Lotus Elan, I think it's an S4. Look at the crazy on the fiberglass, isn't that? Isn't that mad? Um, and we've got a Tans van. I forget the name of actually these went Was it 507 or something like that? I can't remember. Um, they made it a bit tighter before the Transit came out. 2000 Chevrolet Corvette, I think this is a C5 Corvette from memory. Um, Mark III Focus ST, um, tuned by MSP. 2015-16, Hummer H2, I can't remember what year these came out actually, whether that plate is original to the car, I don't know, could be. Oh, another Sierra Cosworth hatchback, is this an RS500 wheels? No, but it's still very, very valuable. 
it's an early. My gosh, it is an early 205 GTI. It's 1.6, 84, 85. Yeah, it's got the correct dash for the early ones in it. Goodness me. I wonder if that's really valuable. Possibly. 1994, 1995. Classic Range Rover. Not quite a soft dash. Um, those are right at the end. Oh no, sorry, it is a soft dash. Wow, I've seen a soft dash in ages. Soft dash with um, biscuit interior and wood. Excellent. Vogue SE, not the LSE. Prefer those, but you know, we'll get what we we'll do what we can with that. I think. Just appreciate it. Renault 5 GT Turbo Super Sank shape. Three of them. Superb viewers. Very, very good. Maybe that isn't. Maybe that isn't the turbo. Maybe that's just the one that's dressed up like that. I don't know. Answer the comment section below. We have only got two of them here. Are that year or not? We'll have to see. It'll be in 91 on the very last ones. Um, this will be an earlier one. 87, 88 on an E. Oh 82, 83. Escort XR3i. Well, the early XR3i is that one. With the correct driving lines. Then uh, one of these books from Muscles, I think. Mini City, 1988, 89 on an F. Then they're Mark 514 and 1.6. It's quite a lot of Crusader actually, because by then the Crusaders were out. It'll only be an 82 because that's actually be a production finish for them. Pontiac, oh, Pontiac um, Firebird Formula 400. Like the ones that are in the Rockford files, um, 71 to 72, Dodge Super B. Are they, um, are they kind of a sort of challenger or something, or just Super B GT? I don't know. Um, another mini pickup. There's quite a few of these here today, aren't there, viewers? Mini pickup, yes, yeah, so um, then let's just get this over with quickly. Mark II Focus RS. I think these have the five cylinder Volvo white one. Um, 1991, 1992, Pleasure 205, 1.9 GTI. Uh, one of the later ones, this one. 1989 to 90, if that's not a personal plate, Porsche 944 S2. 1987 to 1988, Fiat Ford Sierra Sapphire RS Cosmo. Very nice, lightly modified but tastefully so. Then we've got um, R129 Mercedes Benz SL. Complete with a beige leather interior and wood. Very, very nice viewers. It is uh, for sale as well, it's SL 320. Telephone 07958 592 810. Another nice Mercedes here. It's a C124 1995 320 coupe again. Dark blue with a beige leather interior and wood. For sale at uh, 1995. Um, no telephone number. So this can't be yours because you don't know how to find it on the own. Um, 1991, 1992. And then um, another Mark 1 Escort 2 door. 72, 73 on an L. I think the lights at the back of these are the same as on the three, aren't they? And then right at the end, 68-69, Triumph for Test Convertible, with overdrive apparently. Anyway, that is it for today. We'll be back tomorrow for part six of the Slightly Shambolic Shuffle around the 2024 Nebworth Classic Motor Show. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the comment below. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have less noise. And uh, we shall see you again for some more incorrect information.